kids, welcome back to another five minute Bible story. Today we're going to continue to talk about the gifts of the Spirit. Last week we talked about how we can use the gifts that God gives us to serve others. Our, our theme verse for last week was 1 Peter 4 10, which was, Each of you should use whatever gifts you have received to serve others as faithful stewards of God's grace in its various forms. Today we're going to take a look in Colossians and see not just how we can serve others, but how we can serve God Himself. Let's take a look and see what the Bible has to say. Colossians 3, 23 through 24 says, Whatever you do, work at it with all your heart, as for working for the Lord, not for human masters, since you know that you will receive an inheritance as a reward. It is the Lord Christ you are serving. So what it's saying is, it's not you're not doing everything you're doing for yourself. You're not doing it for just for others, like we talked about last week. If you do everything you do with all of your heart, which means if you put all of your effort and all of your time into working hard at something, you're doing that as an act of worship to God. I say an act of worship because sometimes when you hear the word worship, what do you think? You think, oh, that's when we go to church and we sing songs. We have the, the worship team go up and lead music and sing. That is worshiping God, but that's not the only way we can worship God. It actually says uh, in Romans 12 that you, he says, this is what I want you to do. Take your ordinary, everyday life, whether it's sleeping, eating, talking, hanging out, people cleaning your house, and do it with all of your heart for the Lord. Basically, you can do anything with all of your heart and with a happy heart, and that is an act of worship to God. You know why? Because life itself is a gift from God. God gave us our lives, not for ourselves, but to serve Him and to serve others. So that's what we're talking about, serving God today. Let's do a couple more examples of how we can serve God with our gifts. So how many of you are good at building things with your hands? I mean, some people are good with working with wood. They can build awesome furniture, even houses out of wood. Some people are really good at building with Legos. Like me, I love Legos because there's instructions and it's really easy to follow. So if you are good at building with your hands, then you already fit in with everybody else that's a Christian because it says actually that all Christians are builders of God's house, the church. Because in Matthew 28, verse 19, it says, Go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. This is a verse that we refer to as the Great Commission verse. We actually did a service just a few weeks ago where we uh, did a special offering for the Great Commission Fund. This is, where, this is the fund that we do where we give money to missionaries all around the world through the Alliance, and we help them raise money so they can go and take the Word of God to people all over the world. Because it says, go and make disciples of all nations, not just here in the United States of America, not just in Canada or Mexico or even North America, but all seven continents and all nations, all people groups. We're supposed to take the Word of God and make disciples out of those people. So we are not just... Uh, building a physical thing, but we're building the house of God and we're expanding his church. Make disciples of all nations? That is such a big job. How can one person make disciples of all nations? Well, it doesn't say that you alone have to do all of this by yourself. We have the body of Christ. Remember we talked about that last week? We have hands, we have feet, we have ears, eyes, nose, mouth. The body of Christ is made up of many different parts. And the one that I like to th uh, think of in this regards is the feet. I like to think of missionaries who are the people that go out to all these other countries and share the Word of God. They're like the feet of Christ. They take the Bible and they share it with all of these different nations. Maybe some of you have been called to be the feet of Christ. I know personally, my parents were called to be the feet of Christ. We used to live in Pennsylvania, but we moved all the way from Pennsylvania down to Mexico when I was only eight years old to share the good news and make disciples of all nations, which uh, specifically were the people in Mexico. We shared uh, the gospel of peace with the people in Mexico. So if you are considering maybe being a missionary someday, talk to your parents, talk to your grandparents, talk to somebody that's a little, maybe a little older than you might know, a little bit more than you, uh, and, and, and ask them, like, what would it take for me to be a missionary? What would it take for me to be someone who goes and makes disciples of all nations? And if you have a great conversation, maybe share it in the comments down below. Let us know what you talked about. So that brings us to the end of our five minute Bible story today. And before we go, I actually have a new challenge for you. This, is, this challenge isn't really a challenge. There's not gonna be a giveaway for this challenge, but this challenge is for something, I have a really fun idea and I wanna see how it'll work. 
I have an idea to put together a talent show. We're talking about all these gifts and unique talents that you all have. I would love to see you film a video of you doing something that you're really good at, whether it's singing, building, playing sports, something like that. Have your parents or an adult help you uh, film this and then send it to me directly at my Facebook through Messenger. Uh, send it to me and I'm going to put together a little bit of a talent show. And then I'm going to share it with you all here on Facebook and on YouTube. And you guys can see all of the amazing talents that the kids of River Life have to offer us and just to show us how incredibly talented they are. So that brings us to the end. So I will see you next week and next week's five minute Bible story. Bye kids.